Gentlemen, today I've got Raphael Schneider of the Gentleman's Gazette here, and we're going to talk about how to dress sharp when no one around you does. You ready, guys? Let's get into it. Okay, so Raphael has a lot of experience being the best dressed man in the room. You live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, That's and right. you're oftentimes the only guy wearing an ascot, the only guy wearing a bow tie, the only guy wearing the necktie and you really set the standard when it comes to dressing sharp, but that takes a bit of courage and it also takes a bit of planning. And Raphael, you're gonna give us maybe some of your best tips to being the best dressed man in the room, having the courage to be the guy that stands out, that sets the standard, that isn't afraid maybe of the attention that you're gonna get, right? Yes, exactly. So basically, now when you start out, the first thing to ask yourself is, can I be the best dressed man in the room and why should I be the best dressed man in the room? We're here at a conference right now and you know we're dressing pretty sharp with sport coats on, with accessories, a pocket square, I'm wearing a bow tie today and because of that we stand out from the crowd. People see us and they notice us and they're much more likely to come up to us and talk to us when you dress up. People automatically think you're smarter, you're more educated and they have more respect for you. Not always fun. about me, but they definitely probably think that of you, Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> but let, let's face it, not everyone is going out to a conference where it actually, it, it's obvious why you want to dress sharp for a conference. But what about in normal day? I mean, you're out walking around town, Minneapolis, exactly. you're going to Best Buy, you're going to a truck stop. Yeah, just you picking know. up some bagels or some donuts. And uh, people know me as the dressed up guy. And when I go there after the gym, they're like, What's going on? You're not dressed today, right? But yeah. it's, it's, they recognize me, they know me for it. And so uh, a lot of guys don't have a fear of like someone is going to say, oh, what are you so dressed up for? You know, who, who, are you, who do you think you are? Exactly. And that's hard. I hear you. And I get it all the time. Sometimes it's more aggressive. Sometimes it's just, hey, why are you wearing that? Or do you think you're better than us? And I think one of the most important things is that one, you wear things with confidence. That means if you put something on that is dressed up, you have to look effortless in it. It has to be part of who you are. There's if, an Italian word that goes kind of with that, right? Yes, it's called sprezzatura. See, I don't pronounce it like that. That's why I had him say it. Yes, yes. <laughs> For me, with dressing with confidence is actually practicing what you're wearing. Everything I always put together, it's like I've practiced wearing this. Just simply maybe around my office, but around my family. But I've practiced wearing it so I know what to expect, whether it be it's a little bit uncomfortable, I need to get the clothing adjusted, or just simply how it feels and getting used to it. If you just put something on, like own it, right? And two, it's very important that you have kind of a comeback ready. So when people ask me, what are you dressed up for? I can say, it's Thursday, or I could say, I'm prepared for adulthood. Yeah. Or if you want to be a little I, kinder, I like that one. Yeah. yeah. If you want to be a little kinder, you can say, oh, I knew that I would meet a very important person today, and that just happened. Yeah. So that's kind. Even if they're negative, try to be above that and just do it in a kind way that shuts down a conversation because usually they won't have a comeback ready and you just go about your day. It's just important that you pick something that suits your personality, right? If if you never joke and you're always quite serious, then you should probably stick to that. If it's an out of character response, it just doesn't feel genuine and that's not good. I find that I talk about like what my career choice is, where I'm going, and a very quick explanation, people just accept. And that's been shown like in, you know, even if you're going to cut in front of somebody in line, if you give them a reason or an excuse or hey, it's because of this, people just are more likely to accept it. Yeah. And and I agree. Have you ever had anybody actually say the way you're dressing like upsets me or offends me. It's usually the other way around. Yeah. You know, like people treat you very well, right? They may give you an upgrade, or if you're at a hotel, you know, they, they may up upgrade you to the suite, or at they the airplane, give you the seat. They, they just, give you compliments. Yeah. And I always try, and it's my personality, I'm, I'm friendly to all the people around me, the, the staff, and I, I smile at them, and that just, just reacts or brings out the best in them as well. And so even though I'm, I'm dressed maybe very, differently than they are, if I can connect with them about a topic that they are interested in, where be it like, you know, football or just something that's going on in their lives, they they really respect that and they're like, oh, you're a great guy and I really want to dress like you. And uh, I am a great guy. Like, oh, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Raphael, 
thank you very much for uh, imparting your words of wisdom. Now guys, I'm gonna link some of Raphael's best videos down in the description of this video, along with the video that talks specifically about this topic, but went into more detail. Exactly. And uh, guys, so go check it out. Check out Raphael's channel. I, I'm sure many of you guys are already fans of that channel. Go over there, subscribe, check out his videos. And uh, that's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Sounds good. See you over there. Stay tuned. Don't stay tuned too long. Come back to Real Men Real Style, okay?